Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review, and this is E-Wave by Mark Oberon. Before I review this, can you please like, subscribe, and do have a look at cardmagiccourse.com. Have a look at it, and, and have a look at it. <laughs> have a look at it. Uh, and you can get a free course on the spread cull uh, at cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull, C-U-L-L. -L. God, I had to think about that, because it's a very complex uh, URL there. Cardmagiccourse.com forward slash cull for your free spread cull. And if you like that, you'll love my uh, Card Magic Course. And if you like these reviews, you'll love that as well. So have a look at it. Go on. I've said enough about it now, haven't I? Let's get on with the review, Steve. All right, then. Uh, right. This is good. Uh, I reviewed um, Mark Oberon's Peak Theory. I can't remember the name of it now, but that's uh, not, it's just brilliant. And, uh, and he came out with this quite quickly, and I was like, oh, blimey, He's, he is very prolific, isn't he? He's a very good thinker, and he, of course, we've all had time to think. And I thought a bit, well, that's come out quickly. What's this? It's kind of a big thing, and it's a big board, and is it kind of, it kind of looks kind of normal, like just a prediction of some ESP symbols. And then I got it, didn't know anything about it. I started learning it and thought, that's really good. It's really, really good. And I'd heard a couple of people say it was really good. Um, so the effect is this. It's, the lovely thing is they do it. So you've got the ESP symbols and you say, right, I've got two here, 50-50. Uh, they, they choose, I don't know, the star or something. And they choose and get it right. And basically you keep upping the odds. So you go, oh, that was one in two. You then should do it with one in three and then one in five and then they get every one right. First thing you'll notice is, well, I was going to say that it's a very easy plot to follow, but not usually when I uh, explain it, <laughs> but it is. Uh, and was really funny, I, it took a bit of learning this. So and I practiced it and I, could, I, could, I felt like I could do it and I have nowhere to go with it. I, was like, I can't, I can't, it's kind of big. I can't just go to someone in the streets with this big board. Uh, so I, I made my daughter watch it and actually she really, really liked it. She filmed it and watched it and it was actually great fun performing it. I had a really good time. Uh, Mark uses a lovely easel for his. You'll notice that I don't, but it did the job and that's the important thing. So the first thing is this, isn't, this is an easy trick, but it's not something, like I say often, that you can just read the instructions, have a little play with it and go out and do. It's got some handling to it, not in a sleight of hand way, but you've, you've really got to get comfortable. So there's kind of rehearsal with this, which should be the case with everything, of course. But um, just so you won't do certain things that will give certain things away. But saying that, a lot of it's about confidence because once you do it, you realise that there's a lot of cover in everything you're doing. I'll just say that. Uh, I would, I prefer to do this with a little bit of distance, but because of the size of the thing, you're always going to get a little bit of distance anyway, so you can kind of step back. It is a trick for parlour, just because of the size for it. Uh, size of it. There are ways of doing it without the board. There's a version of it which I think is okay. It's fine. It's a nice little mentalism thing. But that big, the, the good thing about it is it progresses. It's a kind of linear progression. So it'd be good to put something in the middle of it that's kind of maybe a little bit of a hiccup or something like that, just to give it a bit of challenge. But even without that, you kind of know where it's going. But it's it's really really fun, and you know it builds up one you know one in one in two one in two one in three one in five and then the whole thing so it kind of makes complete sense and it does there is this sort of crescendo with it there are some really interesting ways of doing this once you've got your head around it and as he says on the download which is really thorough by the way and very well explained you go through absolutely everything a couple of times so you've got everything you need but it, there's so much fun to be here because you can do it as a mind reading thing i'm going to i'm going to influence you um, or i'm going to you know make make you pick the one i want you to pick you can do it as, a, as an influence as a, as a suggestion thing so there's some lovely lines he's got in there where he's talking about certain things you can say that can make like this pseudo suggestion that oh i said that because i made you choose that and it's you influencing them rather than a mind reading thing there's this lovely david regal idea where he talks about you know i'm going to give you good luck for the next three and a half minutes and everything you get is good which i really really like when i first heard it, i kind of went Oh, that's all right. And then I think, actually, there's so much you can do with that. You can actually give them something physical and say, hold this, this is my lucky charm. And they get it right. Um, there's a, a, a brilliant John Archer idea where he, he says uh, he's, he's got this idea where, you know, you win some money if you choose anything, but just don't choose the circle and every time they choose. So you've got this thing of them trying not to choose other than trying to choose, which, which is another way of looking at it. 
uh, which again, can, loads of fun. I imagine doing it on stage and getting the audience to which one do you think it is? Is it the star? Is it the circle? Helping someone out, almost like a quiz show kind of thing. So I think it's really versatile, actually, way more versatile than I thought it was. And it's a really well-made prop. This is going to last you forever. This is it's not made of cardboard. It's something that, well, if, if you look after it, of course, but it's all wipeable and cleanable and uh, and and it's there ready to go. You haven't really got to do anything. It's it's really, really nice. So uh, obviously it isn't going to, everybody, people that aren't into that sort of thing, the ESP symbol thing, but I think you can justify them straight away, the symbols. You can say this is what they use. You know, you've seen the movie Ghostbusters and they've got all that. The, um, the ESP, did I say EMC? Don't know. Uh, that's the, that's the Luis de Matos' uh, magic company, isn't it? <laughs> uh, conference. So the, uh, the ESP symbols. So again, some people aren't going to, aren't going to want to do that or they only work close up and they're not going to want this big trick. But I think for parlor stage, absolutely brilliant. And again, with a bit of distance, you've got a lot. You can just relax, I think, uh, and just enjoy yourself. And really, that's all there is to say about it. I think it's really, really clever. And I think it's lovely. And it's uh, Mark Oberon's E-Wave. Uh, check out the links below. Very important because people are kind enough to send me these to review. And, uh, and it's taken me a lot of time to really get my head around it. I've spent some good time with this. And because of that, I've kind of enjoyed it more, I think. And I think you will too. So uh, thanks very much. Have a great one. Take care. Like and subscribe, check out carlmagiccourse.com and get your free cull, carlmagiccourse.com forward slash cull. Uh, get your course there, nothing to lose, and have a great one.